G'day, my name is Rosalie and you're watching AG Dolls Down Under. I've been absent from YouTube for about two years and I'm going to film an All My Dolls video. My first doll was a My American Girl number 24. Her name is Raven and I bought her in 2014 at New Year's. Raven is ever so slightly customised to have more freckles and her wig has been permanently curled using the hot water dunk technique. Her shoes were a gift. Her pants are handmade by myself. Her shirt is from Pebbles and Toad on Etsy. They are since discontinued as a store. And her cardigan is a no-sew hack that I can show you if you ask very, very nicely. Athena J, or AJ for short, is doll number two in my collection. She is a My American Girl number 41, who I believe is no longer available. She's not been customised at all whatsoever. Her shoes are from our generation. Her romper is from Elite Doll World, I believe. And her cardigan was made using a tutorial on my channel from like 2015. It's turning a baby clothes onesie into a cardigan. Brielle is a girl of the year 2016 Leah Clark doll that I've renamed. She's been not customised at all whatsoever. Brielle is my only girl of the year doll bought in her year. She's wearing her meat outfit shoes, retired just like you pants, and a tank top that I handmade. Next up is Phoenix, or Nixie for short. Nixie is a My American Girl number 64. She's the only doll that I handpicked at the American Girl store. Phoenix was the third doll in my collection, and she got to travel around Canada with me. Her shoes are from a retired Just Like You outfit. Her pants are Julie's Meat outfit, and her sweater was handmade by me. River is the only boy doll in my collection. He's a customised historical Samantha with hazel eyes and a blonde wig from my friend Blue Moon AG. River is the least used doll out of my collection and though I've debated selling him multiple times, I can't get rid of him. He's too cute. He's wearing retired soccer shoes from American Girl. Pants I bought in a doll clothes lot from a friend. And a shirt from Pebbles and Toad's Etsy shop. His scarf was knitted by me. Next up I have Vienna, my lovely Truly Me number 58, but she has Truly Me 61's green eyes. Last time you saw Vienna, she actually had Marie Grace's blue eyes, but in the last two weeks she's been customised a little bit differently. I much prefer her with these green eyes, and I think she looks really cute. Vienna is wearing shoes from Sage's sweater outfit. A lovely pair of overalls from the Glam Doll. And a button-up shirt that I handmade and drafted the pattern for. If you are keen to buy the pattern, please comment down below so I know to make it available. Or alternatively, I can make a couple more to sell. Shipping would be from Australia though, so it's kind of sucky. Next up, we have my not-so-secret favourite. This is Alice. She's customised Marie Grace with Vienna number 58's original brown eyes and a Nelly wig. That's an absolute mouthful. Alice is customised to look like a character from my favourite book, Strange Truths, and she has been customised to look exactly like the main character, Alice England. Alice is wearing retired Girl of Today shoes. She has some shorts from the Glam Doll. And once again, another shirt that I've made and drafted the pattern for. Here is where things start to get confusing. There originally was a doll named Delta who goes here, but Delta doesn't look the same as she used to. Delta was originally a Nelly doll with Caroline eyes and a Mary Grace wig. Delta is now a classic face mold number 61 with Caroline eyes and a Zazu doll's wig. Technically, she's a newer doll, but I put her in Delta spot because effectively she's the same doll for me, just with a different face sculpt and a slightly different wig. She is wearing some Our Generation shoes and her dress and shirt were both handmade by me. This is Kestrel. She is a Truly Me number 26. She was bought second hand and her wig used to be just one big mat. I had to brush it out very thoroughly to get it to do the original curls. She also has a very light smattering of freckles across her nose, which I added. Kestrel is wearing Julie's meat shoes a skirt I made through a Liberty Jane pattern, and a crop top I crocheted. 
Billy here is a McKenna doll who I bought in 2018. McKenna and the doll next on my list are two of my grail dolls for American Girl so I was absolutely very lucky to find them at a very reasonable price and then I fixed them up. Billy is wearing some shoes from our generation, jeans that I handmade and a shirt from Basil Mentos because we are repping that early AG tube vibe. My other grail doll is Chrissa Maxwell who I renamed Robin or Bobby for short. I have fallen in love with her since watching BSC Inc. Studios, who was a stop motion artist back in some early AG tube days. Robin was bought at a really good deal, and for the quality she was, it was a really amazing find. I'm actually really lucky to have her. Her shoes were a gift from my friend Blue Moon AG. Her pants are from Julie's collection. She's wearing Leah's meat bag, and her sweater is one that I've made for her. She always looks good in blue. Piper is next on my list, though she's been customised since you saw her in my most recent All The Dolls video. Piper is a custom doll I bought off Instagram. She is a just mould with Caroline eyes and she originally had the Zazu Dolls wig you saw on Delta. They were since wig swapped and she's wearing a Marie Grace wig that I have permed to be very curly like a Caroline wig. Her shoes are from Etsy. I don't remember the exact seller. I bought them just after I purchased Raven. Her pants are from Pebbles and Toad on Etsy. She's wearing Julie's meat shirt and a coat I've made from a Liberty Jane clothing pattern. I'm gonna pan up just so you can see how beautiful Piper is. I think she's one of my new favorites in my collection. I'm really happy with the outcome. The last doll in my collection is someone new you haven't seen before. She is originally Delta's face, so she's a Nelly doll with Marie Grace's eyes and a Truly Me 61's wig. Up until about five minutes ago, this doll did not have a name. She's been customized for about a week and a half and lovingly called Mini Rosalie from all of my friends and family, as she's been customized to look more like a mini me. I've never really had a mini me American Girl doll before. McKenna is probably my closest, but as I have naturally mousy brown hair, I prefer to dye it a more coppery color and have been doing so for about five years now. She has Marie Grace's blue eyes, which are very similar in color to my own. And as you can see, she has been given a face up, which does need a little bit of touching up and a better sealant. The sealant that I use at the moment is very shiny, so I'm hoping to get a better alternative in the next week or so. This doll is named Thalia, after the character from Percy Jackson, but more specifically, after one of the Greek muses, the muse of poetry and comedians. Thalia's shoes are from an Our Generation outfit from a couple years ago. Her pinafore and sweater were both made by me, Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you'd like to see more content from me, please let me know. I love making videos and having some time with my dolls. Just don't get a lot of time to these days. Please let me know what you'd like to see from me next, if there are any videos you'd like. I'd love to show you more things that I've been sewing recently too. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. Thanks for watching. Bye.